bet they won't have <gasps> Wow, they have it! Walkie slash! How's it going? The Sham here, and now I'm back with part two of the discussion. And obviously, like I said, a lot of things have happened during 2021. Like, we've gotten a lot of things. Some that were funny, and some that are just down horrendous. And yes, I'm referring to the down battery memes and basically just how down bad we can be but obviously since this is part two this is the last few topics that i wanted to talk about and obviously like i wanted to give my opinion on it and to start off the first topic that i wanted to talk about which i think it's just going to be two topics in total that i'm going to talk about is obviously um the live action adaptations that are going on like obviously like i've heard that they're doing a clifford movie but like in live action and obviously like my thoughts are like uh it's kind of gonna mix up my my perspective on seeing clifford because obviously i saw it as the cartoon version and that was like um my childhood watching it like i've watched that and other shows but like once they start getting adaptations it well there's some that do take it into like a awesome route but then there are some that just uh, they do it but like it starts getting like that negative um perspective like they don't like it it's horrible they shouldn't have done it like obviously like how people mix feelings with towards anime live adaptations like take the attack on titan one it, obviously it's a good anime but like once they went to the live action being that how I am doing my review on it is that like it definitely changed the whole storyline. It basically just makes it different for me. Like I didn't. No, I'm probably not gonna spoil it. So you can see like just how like different it is to watch it. And there's other anime movies like one is Dragon Ball Evolution, and we know how that goes. If you don't know, search it up and you'll see how they thought about it but like obviously there's another thing that's gonna be obviously in that same round with live action which is gonna be the powerpuff girls and obviously like that's also another childhood cartoon that i've watched and obviously i i don't want to get a different perspective out of it after like seeing it because i obviously like it's my childhood and i don't want it ruined i mean me kenny is already doing that with his tunes but this is a different route. This is literally live action of shows that I have watched as a kid. And basically now in 2021, they tried to imply um, these shows and cartoons that were part of our childhood to now the new, the new generation. But like, you know, there's some good, there's some good shows that get obviously that are actually good. But then there are some shows that are just annoying and basically it gives you that perspective of why was it created. But, you know, it's the same thing with, um, what's it called? Not to say remastered, but like they try to bring it back, but in a different version. Like there, there are some that some people do like, but then there's some that like, why is, what is this? Like, this is completely different. The, the script is definitely off. And it's not the same anymore. Like, my childhood is being tarnished by this show being created again, but in a different version. But, like, obviously, people are going to have opinions. And, like I said, I hope that these two live-action things don't change my perspective on the things that I've watched when I was growing up. Alright, but, yeah. And the second last discussion that I wanted to talk about was obviously the subway issue with the tuna. Because obviously, like, I've seen that people like the tuna one. But, like, when I went, and, like, the tuna, like, it kind of looked like it. But, like, then they started going with investigations because people started getting weird vibes out of the tuna. And then when they investigated, they said that the thing didn't have tuna. Weird, huh? But apparently I didn't have tuna inside it. Uh, I guess I'll show a video of it right now. Sandwich, and they are suing the sandwich shop. Yeah, so that's what apparently is going on. To see what's between the bread. 
It's the largest sandwich maker in the USA. Subway, eat fresh. An estimated Subway, six eat fresh. Five dollar foot long. One of the chain's most popular sandwiches yeah, exactly. That's is That's the tuna, whole perspective. And lately, it's been getting a lot of attention. Look, see, like, obviously, like, to some people, seeing it from, like, this distance, it will be like, oh, it definitely looks like tuna. Or, like, to some people, it's like, what the hell am I eating? Like, what is this? But, like, obviously, like, like I said, apparently they made a lawsuit about it basically saying that it's not tuna but like they made a clear investigation i think so i don't know if it's going to talk about it but let's continue with the tuna sandwich does not contain tuna or have any ingredient that constitutes tuna no tuna in the tuna subway customers coast to coast want to know what's going on that's insane i mean no tuna in a tuna fish sandwich that's odd how could you not have tuna in tuna <laughs> How can you not have fish in fish? Exactly. It's like basically going with that perspective. And then they're like, there's literally nothing inside it. So like basically, what the hell are we eating? Like, that's the, that's the big question. Like, what are we eating exactly? Because like nobody knows. And like, don't, like, here's my question. Don't they have like, because um, obviously this is probably like pre-made already and they probably buy it in bulk for whenever they need it. But like, here's my question: If it's not tuna, like, do they have like a um, basically the ingredient list of what what it had that they're actually putting? Because obviously they're saying that it's not tuna and it's not fish that it clearly has inside. But like, what exactly is it that contains this sandwich? Because to me, in one perspective it looks like tuna, and and on another perspective it looks. I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at, but like, what is it exactly? That's the question. Let's see what they say else. The sandwiches, we decided to find out for ourselves. We bought the two <laughs> at <laughs> and they did completely cut it off. Queens, New York. When we asked an employee about the tuna controversy, he brought out the packaging. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And there in black and white, Play it says the ingredients are tuna, tuna, water and salt. But we didn't stop there. Our next step was sending the samples to Applied Food Technologies. The lab, based in Florida, specializes in DNA testing of fish. Yeah, Did the I was like, tuna what the in hell? the tuna sandwiches that we tested actually contain tuna? Yes, they did. They did? Yes, we confirmed that tuna was definitely in all three samples we received. So there it is. Based on our test, we found when you buy tuna at Subway, you're getting tuna. But there's actually tuna in Subway tuna sandwiches. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, there's actually tuna. So basically like the lawsuit was total BS then? Or was it to a point that they were like saying, oh, it's not? Who knows, they probably Change it at the last second. They're like, oh my gosh, they're finding out. They're finding out. We got to get an actual one. It's like, go get a box of the actual ones that we could actually use. Or, I don't know. I'm probably just making a big deal out of it. But, like, this thing was just a big controversy. Like, saying the tuna, is it actually made out of tuna? But, like, they went through the critical investigation and they saw that it, it indeed have. So, basically, uh, I just went with the ideal when I saw, oh, it does not contain any, any tuna, I just basically went on with that bias um, saying that, oh, they don't have it and they're in the wrong. But basically, they went through all the investigation and they clarified that it indeed has tuna, but like in a weird consistency sense, because like it's like tuna, water, and something else. Like, like I said, in one perspective, it looks like tuna, and in another perspective, it looks like something else. Like... You don't know what the heck you're eating, but I don't know if they actually won the lawsuit or lost it, but who knows? I got to check more on that later offline, but yeah, but I guess that'll be it for this discussion point. Just realized one little bonus um, topic that I wanted to talk about, and it was the, the Domino's offer. Because obviously I'm basically backing it up with food. And basically this was the 4 to 9, 49 percent special. Like obviously like in my perspective I'm like why are you giving it 49 percent? I want 50 percent. You can't say 
we're not gonna give you we're not gonna give you 50 percent we're not gonna give you 48 percent we're gonna give you 49 percent and i'm like no i want exactly the freaking half off if it's not half off i don't want to take the deal but like i don't know i haven't heard anything else about it except for like that one time that they literally announced it they were like from four to nine get two medium two topping pizzas for 49 percent off i'm like come on you can't market it like that because people are going to get the wrong idea. They're like, why did they uh, save 49%? Did they wanted to save that extra little money by taking that 1% off from the 50%? Come on, Domino's. Don't leave us in the wrong here. But yeah, that was going to be the last thing I was going to say. Bunch of little stupid things, right? But like, obviously... A bunch of strange things, a bunch of surprises that 2021 has brought. And I can't wait for what's next of either another thing that people are going to be down bad for. If more down bad memes are going to start keep on growing. What next trend is going to keep on, is going to rise. And what's next, just like what's next in general. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Um... But yeah, like, let's see what else I can talk about later on. I might talk about other stuff. Maybe do another anime discussion where I basically talk about another anime that I like. And my general opinion about it. Oh, and also I was going to do the Conjuring discussion for sure. Of, on a scale, how did I like it and if you should watch it. Based on my opinion and other opinions if you go on investigating more about it. But yeah. But leave a comment of how you felt about these topic discussions that I gave. I know that some of them are pretty stupid and I'm probably going to be like, dang, you have the weirdest discussion topics you talk about. But I'm like, you know, this is me and I'm doing this on my channel because basically, well, I want to be able to grow this channel to become something else. And, you know, I'm, as I start growing different um takes are going to be given like i could be doing reactions in a different way i could be doing discussions i could be changing it to a different like branching it to another like thing of doing like instead of doing just discussions and reactions the whole time like it's it's gonna be later that i keep on growing and growing and growing and growing but overall like i want to thank all of you who has subscribed and basically left comments and also interacted basically because like i like interacting with everyone i read your comments i basically um i read the suggestions i'm like okay i'll probably do that the next time i do recordings like this right now and um yeah it's like the best thing to do as a hobby i like doing this and I want to see what's next as I keep on progressing forward. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my gaming channel. And also check it out because I've been uploading uh, as normal again. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. And stay tuned for more uploads like this and other ones. All right. Laters. Thank mm -hmm. you.